What do you see when you look up to the night sky? Maybe the moon? And a few stars shimmering in the distance, if there are no clouds around. But for many of us, the sky isn't dark enough to see everything that's really up there. And that's where these guys feel they're pretty lucky. They live in Australia's first ever dark sky reserve. It covers more than 3,000 square kilometres around the Murray River in South Australia and includes the small town of Swan Reach. I heard that the dark night sky reserve here is actually one of the darkest night skies in the whole entire planet. So our dark night sky here is really, really good. It's really cool that you get to see how clear the stars are and the moon. The sky in this area is special because it has barely any light pollution. That's that glow that you often see above cities. And it comes from all of those street lights and house lights and billboards and stadiums and the thousands of other things that light up the night. Astronomers call it wasted light because it's light that spills away from where it's supposed to go. It wastes energy and doesn't actually improve the way things are lit up. What it does do is make it harder to see the stars. Studies have found that the artificial glow of cities is masking the night sky for around 80% of the world's population. And one third of the world can't see their own galaxy, the Milky Way. Not only does that make things hard for astronomers, it can affect people's health, making it harder to sleep. And it can have a big impact on wildlife and insects, which use natural light to navigate. It's why the International Dark Sky Association was created. It's a group that works to protect the night from light pollution by showing people and organisations how to use light more efficiently. And by creating dedicated dark sky places around the world where local authorities agree to protect the darkness. The River Murray Dark Sky Reserve is the 16th in the world, chosen because of its exceptionally dark skies. They're at a 21.98 percent darkness and the highest is 22 so it means that it's pretty dark here so it's pretty exciting. The town will also soon host a space observatory where astronomers will keep an eye on objects in orbit and many locals are hoping to see a boom in stargazing tourists. I definitely think that um yeah it's really important especially like for local small businesses. For these guys it's a really exciting opportunity to learn more about the universe that they can see more clearly than most of us. It just helps to know so much more about a star. It's not just a bright light or a diamond in the sky, it's something truly extraordinary. Yeah.